I have to say. This time I hope you'll be super clear. General Braddock names George Washington one of his chief aides. Though it's not an official British commission, Washington jumps at the opportunity to serve alongside the highest ranking British officer on the continent. The men are looking very good indeed, yes sir. The general orders daily parade ground exercises to keep discipline sharp. Charge your bayonets! Rest your bayonets! <laughs> but about one-third of Braddock's army are American provincials, untrained enlistees from Virginia, Maryland, and Pennsylvania. Braddock pronounces them very indifferent men. It isn't only the drilling that's unfamiliar to the Americans. Severe punishments for even small infractions provide a closer look into the army under King George than many Americans have seen before. 